Hey guys, welcome to another tutorial. As you could see, there has been a little bit of change here. It's not Vegas Pro 9 anymore, it's Vegas Pro 10 as you could see. As I could say about Vegas Pro 10 is that it's not that great. Uh, what I like about the update is that the video effects has the VF, uh, the video effects which is known as the white balance and you could white balance your video. That's what I uh, like and there's a 3D options if you go to properties and there you could choose 3D options there but 3D is kind of useless and uh, so if you're gonna buy Sony Vegas Pro 10, I don't recommend you buying it because there's no a lot of difference with Sony Vegas Pro 9. And uh, the bad thing about Sony Vegas Pro 10 is that when you add a video effects to it and the window is kind of different, the pop-up, so and it's kind of slow, it kind of lags your computer, so I suggest you stay on Vegas Pro 9. That's not the topic for today, so maybe I'll do another review for Sony Vegas Pro 10, but today I just want to tell you that another thing with Sony Vegas where people get confused and, uh, you know, tend to start this program without learning the basics, and basics are really helpful. I think it will be better if I show you on Vegas Pro 9. Let me open up my Vegas Pro 9 here. So let me just stick with Vegas Pro 9. So I have here Vegas Pro 9, because I want to tell you about the problem I was talking about, so let's just say I will bring import any footage and I have a footage here and let's add a random effect from video effects if you're wondering why your windows is different from mine is because I customize I put explorer here and my video tab maybe I'll cover that in another video I'm just gonna add random effect which is color correct and this is how it should look like in Sony Vegas Pro 9 so this is the thing you would see alright sometimes your effects may look like this where can you find the keyframes? There is no keyframes here. And you want to animate your video effect or your cropping, but there is no keyframe. And you would say, damn it, did I buy the wrong version of Sony Vegas? Did they trick me? Did they scam me? No, um, it's actually, it's hidden right here. So if you just drag your mouse to the end and you could see there the mouse is changing to this, you click and drag it up and there's your keyframe. Um, yeah, so first time I didn't know about this and I uninstalled it and installed it back again. It was a waste of time, so I suggest you don't commit the same mistake just like I did. So here's another helpful tip. So yeah, I wish this helped and uh, comment down if this really helped because this was a big problem for me. Don't forget to leave your tutorial suggestion or your problems in the channel moderator box. If you go to my channel, there's a moderator box and you can suggest your tutorials there. And uh, yeah, subscribe if this really helped. I'm out.